NextGenWalkthroughs.com What's up everybody, it's Rumble Link and this is Modern Warfare 2 Beginner's Guide to Veteran Alright, so forgot to mention before, but uh, anything that's not gonna require guidance or you know, some some level of assistance in this game I'm not gonna be doing, like, so there's no good, not gonna be any cutscenes no quick time events if it's not important to the game then I'm skipping it just so we can get to the actual gameplay where uh, you know some of the stuff is important to talk about so that's why we skipped up to this point um, infiltrating the base if you're going for the achievement to get to the plant or plant the bomb whatever without killing anybody you can kill these guys up here and uh, as long as you don't kill anybody uh, up until the where you plant the bomb, then you're gonna get the achievement. And um, yeah. if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm doing what's uh, affectionately known as a bunny hop. It's um, an alternative way to run in this game. So if you you know how you uh, if you do a full sprint and then you'll go into that like light, light jog mode, and uh, you know you run out of juice or whatever. If you do that, the bunny hop, um, you can actually do that infinitely and it's faster than a lot faster than jog walking or whatever the hell he does so um, you'll be seeing me do that a lot in this game alright so let um your buddy take out those two guys there again if you want the achievement for not killing anybody then don't kill anybody just follow this path and you'll uh, you'll get the achievement a truck's gonna come by, so make sure and let it pass before you move on. Don't go to the right, there's two guys over there. You have to be careful around that area because I'm not sure who sees me, but that's a very popular area to be seen at. So, usually what I do is just jump up, uh, get on this roof here. And there's a group, uh, I think it's four or five guys that are going to pass here in a second. So, big blip on your heartbeat sensor. These guys. Level design wise, I thought this was one of the coolest levels of I've ever played. I I wish there was more of it. It's um is a unique design for stealth gaming. It's really cool. So anyways, um you're pretty much scot free here once you get to the uh this area. And once you plant that bomb, if you haven't had if you don't got the achievement yet, you will get it there for um infiltrating the base without killing anybody. In fact, even I think your partner says something to the effect of uh, good job or something. <coughs> Alright, so getting to the next area is a little bit a little tricky because um, you have to kind of slice your way between a few uh, patrols and a couple of guys just standing there. I play this level obviously a bunch of times and sometimes I follow my same exact path more often than not I won't be seen but every now and then I'll get caught but I was not caught more than I was seen so this is this is probably just the best way to go in my opinion Alright, so once you get here, go and feel free to uh, start running. Yeah, 
Go grab this module, and of course, once you come back, um, your homie has been caught. Almost went downstairs there. That was funny. Alright, so remember in training when they talked about if you hold left trigger, target your enemy and shoot, and then let go of look left trigger, then pull it again, and you'll be on another enemy? Anytime you're facing, facing, anytime you're facing multiple enemies like this, it's always a good diet, good, good way to actually take a bunch of them out. Now, if they're moving like so, it's not going to work. But um, there's a few sections in this game where you need to use that technique, just so you can be really, really quick with uh, taking enemies out, or at least putting fire into them so it puts them down a little bit. Alright, so once you come up here, take these group of guys out, you can throw a grenade. Eventually that aircraft blows up whether you shoot at them or not, so you really don't have to put fire on them or not. Okay, so I run this way. And sometimes the, um, you gotta watch out for those guys on the, uh, what do you call it? The, 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 I forget what they're called. But um, just watch your back here because sometimes enemies will come up behind you. If you're curious on actually how to do the bunny hop, by the way, you sprint, then jump, sprint, then jump, sprint, then jump. And that's that's all it is. So again, this is one of those times where using that L trigger uh, targeting works really, really well. Once you get to that area right there, be sure to concentrate on that far, those far enemies uh, on the snowmobile. They're really your only concern at that point. So. Now this here is pretty much a crapshoot because I even had to edit out one death here because uh, you know you can take out all these enemies you want. That helicopter, however, sometimes will just get you and not as much you can do about it. But, um, yeah, the rest of this video is pretty much uh, self-explanatory, so I'll let you guys watch the rest of it, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video, right? Alright, peace. Oh, before I forget, um, this next section here, where you have not only a helicopter, but you have like six guys chasing you on snowmobiles, the way I usually beat it, is um, as you can see I'm moving my snowmobile left to right that's to actually just slow down a little bit and get these guys from behind me to get them in front of me so you can just target them like this and wipe them all out so yeah wanted to give that quick tip right there alright see you guys in the next video peace